Welsh fan from Caerphilly goes viral after idea to fly to Tenerife. Around 2,500 Welsh fans arrived on the Canary Islands after being put off by expensive costs and alcohol restrictions in Qatar. Bethany Evans from Caerphilly originally planned to travel to the Middle East to follow Rob Page's men but after looking at costs it would have been too expensive. After writing on Twitter for a joke about flying to Tenerife, other Welsh fans decided to jump on the bandwagon with over two. 500 of the Red Wall now flying out for the matches. Miss Evans, who flew out to Tenerife yesterday, said, It started when we qualified. I looked into going to Qatar, but due to the cost, it wasn't feasible for me. I posted for joke on Twitter, Does anyone fancy Tenerife? And then me and a few friends booked, then their friends, and so on. Then the BBC News interviewed me on TV, and it escalated massively since then, and it's gone bigger and bigger. I am overwhelmed with support from football fans from all clubs, Wales fans, friends, strangers, and journalists across the world, without you this wouldn't have been possible. A return flight alone to Qatar for tomorrow costs £976 with travel from Cardiff to London Heathrow included, for the 6 hours and 50 minute flight to Doha and that's without accommodation. To stay a week in Qatar it would cost £3,098 and would cost fans a whopping £4,074 for a week away. For a hotel in Tenerife, it would cost £456 with breakfast and dinner included, with a flight from Cardiff to the Canary Island would cost £199, costing Welsh fans just £655 for a week away. For a bottle of Budweiser in Qatar it would cost 50 rials, £11.60, pence, whereas in Tenerife it would cost $1.50, £1.50, pence, to £4.50, £3.90, pence, euros, a fraction of the cost. Welsh fans can have the same experience, beer, and enjoy the winter sun amongst other Red Wall fans in the Canary Islands for half the cost.